Hi, I'm Fred Hirsch. I'm a product manager at Google and part of the team building Open Health Stack from Google Health. Today, I'm pleased to bring you the next video in our webinar series on Open Health Stack. With Open Health Stack, we are looking to accelerate the future of digital health by making it easier for developers to build next generation healthcare apps. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Android Fire SDK and specifically how it can help mobile developers to build powerful, offline capable, secure Fire based apps on Android. Before we start, a quick word about Fire, which stands for Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources. Fire is an open, modern healthcare standard from HL7 designed to improve data sharing and collaboration among different healthcare systems. The FHIR specification defines a set of resources that provides an extensible data model, RESTful APIs, and other features that makes it a good foundation for building digital health applications for a diverse set of use cases. These standards make it easier to build interoperable digital solutions, which is key to enabling person-centered care. Let's dive in. The Android Fire SDK is a set of Kotlin libraries for working with Fire on Android. It's underpinned by a set of principles. Firstly, it's open source, and we have an active community of developers using and contributing to the project. It's Fire native, which means that as a developer, you can use Fire throughout your application. For example, you can use Fire as the data model for your health app, use Fire resources to define the content of your application, and easily sync with a Fire backend. It's offline first. This means that you can build feature-rich applications that will work in low or no connectivity environments. And it provides advanced capabilities for building apps that can guide delivery of evidence-based care pathways and calculation of indicators, all on device. Let's take a closer look at the libraries and APIs that make up the Android Fire SDK. The Structured Data Capture Library, or SDC library, is used for working with Fire for data collection, validation, and processing. Using the SDC library, you can quickly turn a Fire questionnaire into Android UI components. As an implementation of the Fire Structured Data Capture specification, it provides a rich set of features and widgets for rendering layouts and UI controls, advanced form behaviors, and helpers for converting user input to and from Fire resources. Next up is the Fire Engine library. With Fire Engine, you can securely store and manage individual level Fire resources on device. It also provides a fluent search API, and using the Sync API, it's easy to set up bi-directional synchronization with a Fire server. The Knowledge Manager library is designed to specifically help deploy and manage Fire definitional resources, like questionnaires, value sets, and plan definitions, that are often published as part of implementation guides. Using Knowledge Manager APIs, these resources, which are managed separately to enhance performance, are available to other libraries for use throughout your application. Lastly is the Workflow Library, which enables advanced CQL operations and implements key aspects of the clinical reasoning module of the FHIR specification. With the Workflow Library, you can build applications that use decision support to generate care plans and evidence-based recommendations for guiding delivery of care pathways or compute clinical quality measures for in-app analytics or for calculating indicators. The APIs in the workflow library make it possible to run computable guidelines content. An example of this is the WHO Smart Guidelines packages. The Android Fire SDK libraries are designed with the separation of concerns in mind. Each library handles a specific set of features. As a result, your application can pick and choose the libraries you need. For example, you might have an application that only uses the SDC library, or you might have an app that uses all of them. With these libraries, developers can build applications for a range of different use cases, from simple data collection to care coordination, or supporting health workers to deliver person-centric, evidence-based recommendations from locally adapted WHO smart guidelines. You can read some of the stories of how developers are using the Android Fire SDK today on our developer site. Beyond the technical components, Open Health Stack also contains a number of developer resources specifically for app developers using the Android Fire SDK. These include design guidelines, 
code labs, and demo applications. We also have community forums and regular developer calls that you can join. In this video, you've learned about the Android Fire SDK, a component of Open Health Stack for building powerful, secure, offline capable Fire based apps. To recap, the Android Fire SDK offers a number of key benefits to developers. It makes it easy to leverage Fire on Android throughout your application, promoting interoperability. Provides a rich set of features that saves you development time and effort and has a unique set of advanced capabilities to execute FHIR operations for enabling delivery of evidence-based care pathways. Check out the links below, and remember that you can always find more resources at our website. To keep learning about how to build with OpenHealth Stack, check out the next video in our series. Thanks.